Hi, today we are going to see the demo for Farmer ECA application. So the objective of the application is to provide the information for the farmers like uh, crop information, news information and the solutions for the diseases for the crops. So these are all the three main modules and uh, other than that we have uh, extra modules we will see that. So we will see first <coughs> what are all the delivery files for the project. So you will be getting the complete Android source code, the Android SRC file. So you can see the SRC folder in the Android Studio. So the WW folder is a source code file. So you will see expanded, you can see the coding. So the front end will be HTML and CSS and bootstrap. So you can see the front end designs over here. So this is the front end files. And the back end files will be the JS files and PHP files. So we are using Angular JS, Angular JavaScript to develop the application over here so we are developed using angular uh, modules okay and the back end part we are using for the server side we are using the php so you can see the php codings file so this is the back end file and uh, <coughs> for the database part we are using mysql so php my admin the mysql will be the back end database so first we will see how to start the project so i will scratch from the scratch i will open the project so first you have to open the samp control panel let's open it so once you open the zamp you will be having this window so here we you have to start this apache and mysql start apache and start mysql so once it started so you can click on the admin button of mysql once you click it it will promote you to the web browser of backend mysql so this is your backend database in the left hand side you can see your project db that is form ec and once you select it you can able to view all the tables over here okay so for example if you want to see the registered uh, user registration detail just select the login table you can able to see who are all registered to this app Okay. So if you want to see the complaint detail, you can just select the complaint table. We can able to view the complaint module. And <coughs> so for each module, you can able to view the each database will be there. So once you register any uh, database over here, so it will be stored in the MySQL. So this is MySQL. And second, you have to open Android Studio. So search for Android Studio in your PC and open it. So once you open the Android Studio, you will be having this window. So by default, as Android SRC will be there. And here uh, you have to open the AVD manager. So there will be a device manager will be there. So it will be usually, uh, it will be in the uh, below the my minimize button. So here uh, for me, here it is there. So open this device manager, it will promote you to this window. So this is the device manager. So select your Nexus one device and click on the run button. So already my emulator is started. So usually there will be a run play button will be there. Just click on the run button. So it will promote you to the emulator over here. <coughs> so it will take some time like 10 to 30 seconds. So you have to wait for it. And in the home page itself, we can see your app. So former EC app. So here we have two modules. One is administrator and former. So first we will start with the admin module. So let's start with the admin module. So the credential for the admin and the user will be available in the readme file. So in your, in your project root folder, there will be a readme file will be there. So here we have given you the uh, user module login and the admin module. So for a user, you can register a number of users. Okay, so you can use the registration. And also you can able to run the project in web view also, web application also. If you got the project source code for Android and web application, so you can able to run it so if you copy this url and put it in the web browser so it will be running in the web browser also okay so let's go for the uh, admin module the admin module is admin at gmail.com password is test so once you login as a admin you will be having all these modules over here so you can able to manage the complaints so whatever the any disease uh, pest complaints so it will be coming over here and you can able to add or delete the categories for the plant information so you can provide the uh, farmer information in crop information over here you can able to update and delete and you can provide the updates in news and you can able to add the agri office the government office uh, for the <coughs> 
to help the farmers and you can able to view the feedback from the users and you can see the registered user details. So these are all the modules. So we will come one by one. So if you go for the complaint module, so you can able to view the complaint image. So it is not uploaded I think. So you can see the crop name uh, and what is the crop type. Okay, and what kind of disease they got? Like they got uh, the black spot disease, and uh, is there any precautions like that? The, so, so what the admin will be doing is admin will be updating the status whether uh, what for what, uh, for what reason it is uh, has came, and they will be updating the status to on progress to computer, and they will be providing you the reason. So, what kind of reason? On what are the medicines you have to follow, and what are the solutions? Okay. So this update will be done from the admin side. So whatever the problem you have updated, so the admin will provide you the solution for it. So this is the complaint module, the first module. And the second thing is category. So you can add n number of categories over here. So go to the category. So previously I have added like two, three categories over here. So if you want to add a new category, go to the add category and you can able to uh, name your category and browse your image over here. So to upload the image to the emulator, so that part will be different. So what you have to do is to upload the image. Uh, so download the uh, square image from internet. It should be one cross one. And uh, so copy, select this image and drag and drop to the emulator like this. So you have to drag and drop to your emulator and you can able to upload the image from here. So this is how you can able to upload a new image in the emulator. So I am creating a new module called Brinjal. So you can search it. So now the new category has been created over here. So for these categories you can provide the solutions for the farmers. So that is what we are creating a category over here. So the main module is the con crop information. So go to the cro crop info. So here the admin will be providing the crops name okay complete crop, crop information okay and you can choose the uh, categories just now we have created a brinchal as a category so you have to enter the information like brinchal uh, what kind of seed it is and which soil it is recommended for and water recommendation and farming mechanism and uh, the production of crop production modules and then uh, the what are all the symptom deficiency symptoms and uh, harvest how, how much yield you will be getting and the cost of cultivation okay so once you provide the information it will be created you can view all the information in new module so i have previously created this thing like ground net oil seed so the crop type and soil type water uh, irrigation is weekly and how to handle this mechanism and how to protect your crop and what are the deficiencies and uh, how much acre it will be like one ton per acre and how much cost for it so if you want to update it you can click on the update and you can edit the details so if you want to edit the price or any information you can still uh, update it if you don't want this crop you can uh, delete and create a new crop so you can create n number of crops from the admin side and you can provide the information like news update so for example if there is any a vaccination camp for animals so you can provide uh, information or news channels updates <coughs> or any free uh, scream related things you can able to add the news information over here so i have added a uh, own news over here so you can add the news module and you can provide the nearby agri office so usually there will be uh, agri office will be there for each area so you can go to the add agri office so you can provide the officer name category address location phone number and all so whatever you create it will be available in the view agri office so you can able to uh, update or delete or any field you can able to do over here so you can customize your uh, agri officers and you can see the feedback so whatever the feedback uh, for your solutions they will be providing you the feedback from the farmer side and you can able to view the farmer user details so who are all registered to this app it will be visible so as of now only one module is there 
So I'm just logging out from the admin uh, module. So I'm just logging as a farmer. So go to the farmer. If you are a new farmer, go to the create account and you can register a new account and you can sign up over here. So I'm just logging with a as a farmer. So I have already created this module, uh, this login like user.gmail.com password is test login successful. So once you log in as a farmer, you can uh, register the complaint for your pesticide problems or any crop problems. Okay, and you can see the uh, status for it, and you can find the crops. You can see all information about your crop, and you can find your agri shops over here, and then you can see the news. So whatever the news provided from the admin side, you can see it. So these are all the uh, three main models. So if you are going to create a disease model go to the new complaint and you can write your uh, complaint over here so crop name crop type so how much duration what kind of disease you got and what are the symptoms you are having so you can provide your <coughs> problem and once you applied it so they will be uh, seeing it and and you can able to upload your uh, they will provide you the reason so it is because of climate it is a fungicide medicine and you have to apply it this one okay if you want to once you create your complaint you can upload your image also so go to the upload image so browse it So I am just uploading an example image. So it will be uploaded over here. Okay. Yeah. So it is uh, loading slowly. Yeah, the image will be uploaded. So you can see the image. So the admin will see your problem with your statement and with your image, and they will be providing you the reason and medicine solution over here. And you can find the crop information. So in the find crop, you can able to view all the crop details. Like so, there will be categories will be there like brinjal oil like that. So for example, <coughs> I have provided the information for oil seed only. So if you select this category, so all the oil seed category options will be coming up. <coughs> so you can see the uh, details for oil seeds. So if you go for all crops, you can find uh, without any search category, you can search by any field like uh, price wise, type wise, name wise, you can search over here. So both are same model only and you can view the nearby office in the agri shop. So you can search by your address wise, pin, pin code wise, you can search it uh, or if your, um, if your office is not available, you can click on the nearby agri shop it will promote you to the google map so directly in google map you can able to view the nearby agricultural office so it will take some time to load So if it is web application or mobile app, it will be faster, but in the emulator, it will be slower only, it's still loading. Yeah, so I can able to see the nearby agricultural development office of government. So you can uh, click on the able to see over here. And you can view the uh, news modules. So just now we have added a vaccination so that information is visible. So and you can able to see your my profile. You can able to update or delete your username or password over here. And you can if you want to provide your feedback. So select the feedback and write your name 
and your feedback over here so you can write your feedback it directly goes to the admin and if there is any doubts so you can reach the helpline directly so the admin has provided the uh, the email id and mobile number so if you click this mobile number automatically it will go to your driver so you can make a call from it and if you click the email so it will promote you to the email box okay directly okay so so this is what the uh, explanation for the form uc app Thank you.